This week we read a portion of the Tzavah. And the Torah tells us of the special garments that were made for the Kohanim and the Kohen Gadol. And then the Torah tells us how we are to make the inauguration of the Mishkan. And then Torah tells us about the daily sacrifices. And we find something very interesting. In last week's portion, when the Torah told us about building the Mishkan, it says, Asul in Mikdash, it will build for me a sanctuary, tabernacle, Veshachati Besocham, and I will rest in it. In this week's portion, at the end of telling us all about the garments, etc., and the daily sacrifice, the Torah tells us, Veshachati Besoch B'nei Yisrael, I will dwell amongst the Jewish people. So when we built it, we built a home for God, for God to rest in. And this week, Torah tells us it goes beyond that. Not only will I rest in the Mishkan, not only will I rest in the sanctuary, in your synagogues, in your holy places, but it's going to go beyond that. I'm going to rest in every single Jew, amongst every single Jew, amongst the Jewish people. But in order for that to happen, it has to be every single day we have to bring a daily sacrifice. Which means to build a synagogue, to build a holy place for God, a home for God, it's beautiful. And God perhaps will rest there. But if you want God to rest amongst you, if we want God to be with us wherever we go, for that we can't only build a home for God. For that we can't only build a synagogue. For that we have to go to synagogue. For that we have to do daily mitzvahs. For that we have to go even to the extent of a daily sacrifice. It's only after Torah tells of the daily sacrifice that were brought in the in the in the base of English, in the Mishkan, that it says Vishakhati Bisurpana Israel. Building it is great. Having a beautiful synagogue is beautiful. But if you want me to rest in you, wherever you are, for that it needs to have daily sacrifice. It has to be the daily avoid, the service of the Jewish people every single day. May God bless us that with our serving of God and showing Him our love and appreciation for everything He does for us, we will merit to see the way God dwells amongst us wherever we are, in a most revealed way. And it's going to happen in the ultimate revelation with the coming of Mashiach. May it happen, happen spilling our day. Shabbat shalom to you all.